welcome to episode 2 of Zerker to Grandmaster. If you haven't seen the first video then go check that out because it explains a lot about the series and our main goals. I'll leave a link in the description and probably put some in on screen right now. And while we're on the topic I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support the first episode's had. My subscribers have gone up so much I think I started with around 100 and now it's over 600 and it's by far my most viewed video and most liked video, so thank you for that. If you did miss the first video, we started off at Winter Todd. We ended up getting the pet as well as the tome. We did a lot of questing, got ourselves a rune scimitar, had our first chance. Got spooned the Tome of Water at Temporos, and we finished off by completing Dragon Slayer 1, and these were our stats. And the main goal for this episode is going to be getting 45 defense so we can wear the iconic Berserker Helm. So now that we can get to Fossil Island, just starting off I'm going to get a load of Volcanic Ash because I want to start my farming runs early and have an Ultra Compost for that, it's really good. And that is Ghosts Ahoy complete, which gives us a nice one click telly close to the farming patch and this new quest right here should take us all the way to 30 farming yeah so that's a really nice head start so I don't really know why I decided to do it I think it was just because I was around this sort of area but I hated not having any magic robes so I'm safe spotting these shamans to get the fabric to make some magic robes Hey, this is Eric's talisman. Nice. That's another RFD subquest done. Slowly getting through more quests. Please don't burn. Yes. Another subquest down. That's jungle potion completed. Right, moment of truth. Are we going to be able to complete this quest or are we going to burn and have to wait? Lovely, of course we burn it. So, got to wait until we're 65 fishing now for that one. That's all right. And this will be the Evil Dave subquest completed. So now we got access to all the stew boosts, which is nice. But if we go into the basement, we can actually now get some mithril gloves, which is a nice little upgrade because I don't think we actually had any gloves. Nice. So for the Temple of Ikov quest, you actually need a U bow to fire the ice arrows. So I'm just gonna try me look. Yep, first time, lovely. <laughs> but that's our U short bow made, so we can complete that quest, nice. The easiest six quest points you'll ever get. Come on, where you going? Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> uh, was that another chance? And there we go. We have ice gloves. And that is the hero's quest completed. And that's actually given us a load of levels. Strength, defense, hit points, attack, range, herb lore. Lovely stuff. That's Shiloh village complete. And with this quest we can now get climbing boots. It's going to be our best boots for a while. So, the Troll General's max hit. I'm pretty sure it's 38. I'll put it up on screen now. And my health is not 38. So I need to make sure I don't tank a hit here. It should be easy enough. There we go. Got him in the safe spot. And that's Troll Stronghold completed. 
So normally on a Berserker account, you wouldn't complete Holy Grail, but thanks to an update where you can skip the XP training after Monkey Madness, you can now actually complete all of the quests that give defense XP, apart from the one that needs 65 defense, and all the XP adds up perfectly to level 45 defense. So, that is Holy Grail completed, and some nice defense XP and prayer XP. This does not feel right. I know it says it's a safe death, but... <laughs> ah, still alive. Lovely. And if we go and talk to this guy over here, that is the Fremenic Trials Completed, which gives us access to... I think actually one of them is our best in slot helmet, the magic one, the Farseer Helm. But the Archer's Helm and the Berserker Helm will be our best helmet for a long time until we can do Nightmare and TOA. But let's go get the helmet. So, one Berserker Helm obtained. But we don't have the defense yet. Just a quick pause. What do you think the most badass NPC is in the entire game? Whatever answer you said, it's wrong because it is Cow Killer from the Animal Magnetism quest. And that is Animal Magnetism complete. So now we've got a nice little backpack for our range setup. So for a lot of the quests for Barrow's Gloves, I'm gonna need protection prayers, so I'm sat here maging blue dragons because I need magic levels as well. And with that level, that takes us to 1000 total level, so we can make our status permanent. Ah, here's to the next 1000. That's 37 prayer, which gives us our first protection prayer, protect from magic. 38 thieving, now pickpocket master farmers. I got a little bit bored, so I done some LMS and this happened. <laughs> oh, you thought I was frozen. And in this in takes us to 100% favour. And this is our first of many bird runs on the account. Oh, f off. That's not the fish barrel. Lads, where'd you get team capes from? Is that, is that just above Wildy. the edge? Wildy. Like you got to go in the Wildy. I think there's a guy just on the edge. Like, by, by the ditch. Yeah. He's got a funny name, Annie. Yes. Where's this bloke that sells the team capes then? Is he is he just is that in there, Richard? <clears throat> That's really funny, Ads. <laughs> I can't wait to <laughs> <laughs> One's called William, one's Ian, Larry, Darren, Edward, Richard, Neil, Edmund, Simon, and Sam. <laughs> I think Ads has thoroughly overestimated how funny the name <laughs> Edward is. Funny... I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny name. Lads, 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 you're never going to guess his name. Edward. <laughs> oh, oh bitch. Jeremy, get. Love it. I'm a f idiot. I don't have 40 range. <laughs> oh, for f yeah. sake. Yeah, yeah. So I just thought while I was at Fossil Island get some snake skin so I can make some snake skin boots. Do you reckon I'm the first ever person that's managed to drop something on this square here? Because you can't open your inventory. And I've got the thing on that's collecting arrows and my inventory was full so it's dropped to the floor. That is 40 range. Right, we're actually back this time. 
Oh, it's another clue. That's a shame. That's right, I could do it. That is 50 for a minute. And that's another sub quest complete. Which means another glove upgrade. Nice. Oh, four ring kite shells. That's a decent elk. And that is 65 fishing. Which means that we can go complete that quest and fish as many Karambans as we want. So, if we take a look at the Tempros log, we managed to get the Tome of Water and the Tackle Box. Um, I'm not planning on coming back here anytime soon, it was just to get me to 65 fishing. So, it would have been nice to get the fish barrel, but it is what it is. And with that quest done, we've now basically got our food supply sorted. And that's Vampire Slayer done, and um, without barely training any melee, we're already 47 attack. That's Imp Catcher, which actually gives us an upgrade on our amulet slot for range. And that is 50 magic, so we can actually wield our tomes now. 55 farming. saw the collection log pop up I thought it was the pecs it was at the end of the of the course why would the mark of grace one pop up there and that is 42 agility and 1100 total level yeah something bad happened I died we are no longer a hardcore Iron Man. And you're probably wondering, how did you die? Were you trying to do monkey madness without protection prayers? Or a boss fight in any other quests? No, I died doing a farm run. <laughs> and the thing I'm most annoyed about is it was on mobile, so I don't even have a clip of it. But basically, I was sat on the toilet, taking a shit, and a message popped up on Facebook from my mum, so I thought I'd start replying to her. I'd already clicked the tree, and the jungle spider got me. <laughs> so mum, this is all your fault. <laughs> but I got someone from our clan to do a nice little picture, so that's very accurate to what actually happened. So yeah, thanks Merv. So these were my stats when I did die. And two clanmates made a hardcore at the same time as you saw in the first video, one DC'd at Winter Todd. And I was the first one to die out of them, which is lovely. So, what does this mean for the series? Absolutely nothing. We're still going to be going for Grandmaster, we're just not going to have the little red icon next to our name. That's it. Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> we just got the pet. <laughs> So I'm currently task skipping on my main because we're doing a clan bingo. And I just thought I'd AFK some cramble hands. And I've got the fishing pet. <laughs> oh. Literally, about a week ago I got the fishing pet on my main account as well. <laughs> so we've been sat here for a little while while bingo was going on. And we are now at 10,000 for all crampons. Every single time I do a tree run, I have to look at you. You horrible little green... Can I say that? So I thought I'd start completing a few diaries because it's a nice, easy way to get some free herbal XP from the lamps.
And that is 70 cooking, which is probably one of the longer requirements for recipe for disaster out of the way, which is really nice. That's 53 thieving, another requirement for RFD. So I decided to be a massive nerd and I done some of the quest speed running because basically it's a free recolor for my grace for outfit. And I want all of my marks of grace to go on stamina potions. So that's that unlocked. Valador diary completed. And that's the Kandarin diary completed. Karend diary completed. 65 farming. We can now kill Hespori. That is 50 agility. Temple Vykov completed. That's another RFD requirement out the way. Desert diary completed. Fremnik diary completed. Varok diary completed. Buying our first bits of graceful. I thought we'd get the top and the bottom because we've got some bits of lightness and a cape that reduces our weight as well. Nice. And this is our first hard clue on the account. So we're looking for some black dehyde and a magic short bill. What are we going to get? That's none of that. <laughs> That's 56 agility, which means we can use the shortcut to get down to the mine in Guardians of the Rift. And that's 44 rune crafting, so we can now craft nature runes for our high elks. And that is a big chunk of defense XP, it takes us to 43. And this quest will give us some more defense XP, I'm not sure if it gives us a level. It does, 44. So I completely forgot to press record, but we've done our second hard clue, and we got Black DI top, and got Magic Longbow, not the Shortbow, which is a bit annoying, but it's good to get Black DI. And that is 55 magic, so we can cast High Alps. Hey, there we go. Whole reason we came here, got the grapples for the diary. And that's another quest for RFD completed. That's 50 smithing, another requirement. And that is between a rock completed, which gives us 45 defense. Alright, let's take this bad boy out. Oh, that looks so much better than the full helm. But there's still something that's definitely missing. So. Just under an hour later and 80 million GP later, we have a fighter torso. That looks so much better. Oh, that's so good. So, we've now got 45 defense, which is the maximum level that we're ever gonna have on our defense. And it kind of feels weird that it's not gonna go any higher. So we can wear our Berserker Helm, but we're still missing a key ingredient to look like a real Zerker, and that is Barry's Gloves and a Dragon Scimitar. So next episode, we will get Barry's Gloves and a Dragon Scimitar, and then we can start wielding a Slayer. If you made it all the way to the end, then thank you. I know it's a long video where it's just a lot of questions and stuff, but again, that's just what has to be done on a new account. In the next few episodes, things get really interesting. So I'm looking forward to editing those up and getting those out for you. If you did enjoy it, please remember to drop a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you soon in episode three.